What's going on everybody? So today we're going to talk about using the FX loop on your Firehawk. Um, and a lot of people want to use additional pedals in conjunction with the Firehawk. And a lot of the question is, do you use the 4 cable method? Um, do you put the effects before the, the Firehawk or afterwards? So that's what I'm talking about today. So the question is, how do you use analog pedals with the Firehawk effectively? And uh, there are multiple avenues on doing this. Now, if there are some of you who are using just the Firehawk and doing, for let's say, a direct into a PA board, um, you don't really have an amp to use an effects loop in the back of that if you're using the Firehawk. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of different artists have um, not only their pedal board that's using a rack effect, but they also have amplifiers that are have certain effects doing their own effects loop into um, the amplifier to, before that preamp sage. Um, but for the average uh, home user, you guys might have a whole bunch of analog pedals um, before you even bought the Firehawk. And now you're like, why well, still want to use these, so how does it happen? And there's a couple ways to go about this. So the actual app, all right? the one that you guys use all the time, um, gives you a couple options. So you have to remember is when you go to use the FX loop, you want to be able to engage on that foot switch. So what that means is you have to pick an effect that you will not be able to turn on or off while still having it engaged. Okay. Um, what I normally do is I will pick the reverb to not be uh, assigned a foot switch, mainly because I always have it on and uh, it's the one pedal and one patch um, that I'll probably adjust every once in a while. And so what you guys can do is leave the reverb on and assign the FX loop to that particular foot switch. Now, when you're doing this, you have two options and just using the pedal board itself. Now, the option A is to strictly use analog pedals, um, do a cable link chain into the send, back into the return, and once you turn on the FX loop, you can turn on off the pedals as you need, as you see fit. The second idea is to leave the FX loop on, uh, purchase a FX loop switcher, and loop the pedals into the switcher, the switcher into your Firehawk. And that way you can leave that on and turn off multiple units at a time. Now the one catch about using the FX loop is this. That box is adjustable in four positions. It's before your amp, after your amp, and before certain chains and that amp um, once you're using the actual patch on these. Now what's important to remember is if you were guys using the uh, Firehawk pedal by itself, you know that moving a distortion before an amp or after the amp makes a huge change uh, as so the delay before and afterwards. So you really need to think about what uh, analog pedals you're putting in that effect loop before the amp or afterwards that's going to adjust your tone dramatically. Now another way you'd want to use the effects loop is for pedals that have stereo sound um, instead of a mono sound. Uh, for example, um, I have one of the TC Electronics pedals that has a stereo out and so there's ways where you want to feed back the mono sound into the system again and create that stereo sound. Now optimally if you guys are mainly dealing with the effects, let's say you have really great chorus pedals or you have uh, great digital pedals, let's say you have a, a DD5 from Line 6 that you still have from way long ago. I would probably use that effects loop, since we only have one loop and one chain, um, for various effects and leave the extra box for a distortion or an overdrive that you can move before and after the amp and not worry about messing with the chain and leave that effects loop after the amp. That way you, can, you guys can add in any effects you want um, and still be able to adjust them either manually or with a switcher um, and not have to worry about figuring out some type of weird formula. Now when you decide to use the effects loop you need to be pretty methodic about what you're going to put inside of that effects chain. Um, and I say this because of this. The box will only allow you to move in four positions. So if you put in a distortion, a digital delay, and modulating devices that you may have that are analog you're throwing all of those devices in one section of your guitar chain. 
um, whereas you might want a distortion before your amp and then modulate afterwards following by delay. However it may happen, you don't have an option to split how that effects loop is being treated. Um, so what I would do is keep a box open that you can put before or after your amp for distortion and mainly use uh, the effects loop to insert um, a modulating device or delays and then you have two extra uh, boxes to add another delay or a synthesizer or however you want to add um, that you can easily kind of make a nice uh, formula with. Uh, but I definitely would stray away from adding multiple chains into that. Now this brings us to a really big point. A lot of people uh, do have different devices. They want to use them all the time. Uh, with our actual pedal board, we aren't limited to one FX in and in and out. Um, when you look at the Helix and the Helix LT, um, they have two different chains and multiple FX loops in and out. So if you guys have invested a lot in the pedal, um, and you've invested a lot in your own uh, personal analog pedals and you want to kind of mix them up, you can be real creative with it and still achieve what you want with the uh, Firehawk. If you are kind of just purchasing this pedal and you still have a whole bunch of pedals that you want to use and manipulate chains um, and that's not what you're looking for, then you're probably going to want to look in a different direction um, to meet your needs because this particular platform is limited to one chain and one FX loop. So if you're creative and you're using this thing effectively um, to the best you can and you don't have to have all the different uh, cable chains, then this will work perfect for you. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today on the video. Um, if you have any questions, post them below. You're also welcome to message me. I'll reply as quick as I can. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great holiday. I'll talk to you guys soon.